after all of these years, uh, it feels absolutely wonderful to be here finally today and await the launch of the, uh, the Proton with the uh, Nauka, MLM and ERA on it. So we are just so excited that finally it's going to happen. ERA is a bit different than the uh, other manipulators that are already on station. Uh, it, it can be fully pre-programmed um, in advance. This is very helpful. It can be operated from external control panel, which the, the others do not, uh, do not have. So even when you're doing a spacewalk, EVA, you can control ERA by just seeing it and, and uh, operating uh, com this control panel. But also it can be operated from inside using only a laptop, so it doesn't need any joysticks. And then it can walk over across the uh, Russian segment of the, of the station. It has a collision avoidance uh, system in software, which uh, I think is uh, revolutionary. And um, on top of all of that, it uh, can carry really heavy loads, up to 8,000 kilos, and still it's very accurate, about five millimeters of position accuracy. Now, the first step is that it will be electrically checked out. This will be done by uh, um, as planned now, ESA uh, astronaut Thomas Pesquet, he will check it out with a laptop from inside. It will, the arm will not yet move, but in the next step there will be uh, the so-called in-orbit validation of, uh, of ERA. And then we will test out the full behavior, including motion, uh, after which it will be ready for launch or ready for release for use. And um, the next steps are the first uh, operational missions of, uh, of uh, ERA to uh, install the radiator and an equipment airlock on the, uh, on the Nauka. And we are also happy that there, there will be involvement of ESA astronauts uh, Matthias Maurer and Samantha Cristoforetti. From all the things that we are going to see, I'm probably most looking forward to the, uh, the, the two spacewalks that uh, our ESA astronauts have uh, together with ERA, because I'm a big um, supporter of uh, the uh, cooperation between humans and robots, and uh, this is where we are really going to see that. I am very, very thankful to the, the teams in, in ESA and in industry. It's uh, thanks to their perseverance that we are now here today, and it, it's just amazing how enthusiastic they have uh, managed to stay and how enthusiastic they still are about working on Iran. Uh, yeah, that's a big thanks for them. I cannot say anything else.